Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolfraith and welcome back to a let's play of The Walking Dead. Uh, literally picking up where we left off. Oh, just saved! I could have ended it. Okay. So I ended it prematurely, that's okay. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Man, we should be hanging out here. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Do you really need that much, though? I mean, I'm not an electrician, but... Uh, ever have any accidents? This is a brilliant setup. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Yeah. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh-oh. Uh, Lily, I've got things under control. I've got things under yeah, control. Yeah, that's right. Well, I hope you know what you like that, doing. Carly? <laughs> that place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh-oh. Uh, uh we brought that's gasoline. Habitus. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Uh, can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow. This is no, very suspicious. That's right. Hopefully Why did she bake those in the morning? Of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Oh, this it could be an ambush. Nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Oh no, this is just really suspicious. Why don't I like head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. They sound very cult like. Myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. She's taking that little kid. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Now you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh... We should do whatever we can. Uh, let's make sure the place is Before safe. Damn right. Think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, yep. and you find this out is what good. you can from Andy. Very good tactical advantage. That's why I didn't want to give them too much information last time. Uh, when they asked, I think they asked how many is in the group. I didn't really want to give too much away. Uh, let's go and uh, check out the swing. Let's swing on it. You can swing on it with one leg. I used to do that when I was a kid. Broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. They can still play on it. That old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, how did it break? Mind if I try Mind to fix, if I it? fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks mm. like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, so we're gonna have to go find that shit on our own, apparently. Okay, there's, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some wood. 
This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size. Oh god damn it. I, I want swing. I went to the board first because I thought, you know, the board's like there and the saw's right there. Like two and two, you know. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. That's me. Being the guy with initiative. Aren't you gonna smack it on something just to make sure it's like safe? Okay, let's walk into the fence. Apparently we can't. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Okay, that's a pretty decent yep. perimeter. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. But what happens when the fuel runs out? Like, shouldn't they be using manure or something like that to create their own fuel? I don't know. Ooh, let's go through here. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Uh, just trying to help just out. Trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds uh oh. Good. Something ain't right here. Uh, where the hell am I going to find some rope? There's some fuel. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Hmm. Actually, let's see if we can spy. Shoe bucket. Anything to do? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look at plants. Mm, we might see see what they're doing in there. For dinner. Ah. Let's take the rope from here. Used That'll be enough. He's on the front porch of my house growing up. I personally the doesn't attract any unwanted guests. I was literally about to say I would probably take that down. It's not exactly the safest thing. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You sneaky you motherfucker. Know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Oh god, they're cannibals, aren't they? They're cannibals. I'm calling it. I could be wrong. They could be really nice people, but I don't trust them. Oh yeah, we got some rope. This rope is perfect for the sway. Now, I don't know if I should be speaking to anyone or, or what. Let's open this again. Is there anything in there for us? Nothing else I need in here. Well, we could use that. There's like extra rope, you know. We could use that for something, I'm pretty sure, but. Alright. I'm not a survival expert, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck it, let's fix the swing. I was gonna go in the house and snoop around a bit more. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just yeah, I did. to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. What? Okay, whatever. Okay, is there anything else? Let's, uh, can we go up there and... Wonder yeah. how much food they've got in there. Oh, god damn it. Hopefully we'll find out. This... Some of, this, some of these points are a little, uh, annoying. Okay, now he should be able to walk through the door. Let's go in. Let's let's try and sneak in. Let's sneak up on her. Oh, god damn. What are you doing, Lee? Well, hi there, Lee. I fixed I your swing. You, <laughs> Just tell her, tell her again. Around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. 
He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Okay. How many rooms in this house? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Uh... Looks custom, looks built. custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this. Ah, you see, using the information oh, that that kid job. gave us. I believe in making a house a home. Ah, uh, the place looks Family's amazing. Done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lou. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Uh, what happened to your staff? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. Bullshit. It was oh, a tough night. You ate them all. When well, will dinner be, be ready? ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Mm, could be poison. How is your family holding up? Hold it up since, uh, you know. All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right, let's talk to this idiot. Suss things out a bit, see what he thinks about the place. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Oh shit, no. I can't check... I can't check the barn yet. I get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Uh, that fence, fence is no is joke. No joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Alright, let's talk to this bozo. Fucking help him out. Oh, he's, so here's Andy, that's his name. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Uh. No one hey, fucks with us. Anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Uh-oh, he will remember that. Uh, we are at first guest, the fence stops the walkers. Uh, let's, let's talk to him a bit, yeah. Are uh, we your first guest? the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. That does sound... You found out that other survivors have stayed at the farm. Okay. The fence An stops the walkers. Fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Okay. Let's Mark go fix the perimeter. With that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Okay, hey, okay. You never know. So he's trusting us to go by ourselves. Slightly good sign. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Yeah. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you told him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous. Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. He's a piece of shit. 
That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Yeah. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Yeah, fuck him. Get him riled up and then he'll... There's one. And then he'll have a heart attack. Hey, we can take that boat. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Hey, we gotta, we gotta double check. What's this? Disgusting. I do find it a bit, a little bit more suspicious Andy that there's a. Uh... When this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah, that that that's generally pretty logical. Uh, why was there an arrow in him? Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? I reckon those bandits are gonna... It's dangerous. The fortress needs people to defend it. It's useless it's without gas. It's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers Ambivalence. these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Dead delaying, what do you mean? We can take this place if we have to. What, what do you mean? mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. You're alright, Mike. I, I like you. I hope you don't turn out to be anything like Kenny. Anything else I can look at? What if they were people trying to get back in? Whoa! Uh... Is there anything else I can do? No, I'm just gonna have to... Axe the hands. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Uh, what's that thing that they call it? I think rigor mortis Can't kicked stop in. thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but... It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after. I'm hungry too. Focus Just on the task. Focus on the task. Yeah, that's they right. What they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. See, I think they sussed us out prior. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh no. This seems a bit sus. Okay, spammy, spammy. Spammy, spammy. Wouldn't he knock it back down with his weight? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! What the? Get to the gate. What the hell? Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We the have fuck? Now you fuck. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate is our only way out. Damn. Give us the food. Please hurry up. Oh, they betrayed them. Oh, yeah, 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 we can roll it. What the fuck? What do I do? Okay, let's go. Let's roll it. Oh. Fucking kidding me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No fuel. Okay, push, push, push. Is there... Can I... What do I do to push this fucking thing? Uh, I, I'm... I don't know what to do here. Oh, there we go. Fucking oaf. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! That shit that hurts. Okay. Good. Far out. Oh, great. What happened? Shit. One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. I'm 
Okay, hurry, hurry. All right, all right, we're doing, we're doing this. I'm going, going back to the camp. See these people? That I knew they were suspicious. How many of those things did we push down? You didn't deliver the goods. Yeah, so they took the gas. Oh shit! Come on, spammy, 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 spammy. Whoa! You okay? Yeah. Barely. How do I? The gate's right there. This is a shit angle. Shit camera angle. Oh, use the shadow. Use the shadow. Oh yes, that's good. Let's get out of here. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't you want to shut that gate? All right, guys, I am actually going to take the liberty to end that one there. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, guys, I will see you in the next video.